hi guys how's everybody doing today i hope that everybody's doing great welcome back to my channel today i have another little palette and look for you guys um today i am playing with the abh and norbina volume 4 palette i'm just so excited to have um purchased this palette um i fell in love with it as soon as i saw it i thought that the colors look so beautiful it can be your everyday palette or you know you can add pops of color too from um some of the shades in here and i just wanted to come in here and create a look and so i did this is the look that i came out with and i'm going to show you how i did that if this is something that interests you then keep on watching i wanted to um let you guys know that i changed my phone so i'm no longer um using my iphone 7 to record i have an iphone 11 now and i'm hoping that the quality of the videos are a lot better um i mentioned in a video a while ago that i do have a camera that i want to use but the laptop that i have right now it's horrible like it sucks so bad so i can't um uh, you know transfer the videos from the camera to that computer because it just it will be a hot mess so I do use my phone to make my videos and I do have an iPhone 11 now and I'm hoping that the quality of the videos are a lot better um they seem to be a lot better I mean as far as like the pictures that I've taken this is the first video that I record on it but as far as like the pictures go and stuff it actually looks really good so i'm very very excited about that um and yeah i just wanted to let you guys know in case um i don't know there's a difference from my old videos to now um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this video stay tuned so that you can see how i created this look um please subscribe to my channel it will mean the world to me um we are almost our first goal which is 120 subscribers we are almost there um and i'm so excited and yeah so if you want to continue to watch and see how i created this video or this look let's get started okay, you guys so we are going to jump into the palette and so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab i already prime, prime my lids and i will list everything down below that it's on my face today um so i'm gonna go in with my sedona eb13 brush this is my favorite one for a lot of things um and the first shade that i'm gonna go into is going to be this is a large palette okay the first one i'm gonna go into is um a4 which is this one right here and i'm just going to set um that primer that i already put i'm just gonna put that all over my lid and I'm also going to focus that color on the crease just a little bit. I have that color down. I am going to go into this color right here, which is E1. And I'm going to put that one in the crease. And for that, I'm going to use the... Um, JS6. So this is from the Jeffree Star and Morphe collection. And I'm just going to take that shade and I'm going to put it in the crease. But I'm also going to be very liberal with it and I'm going to bring it up to the brow bone as well. Okay, so now that I have that color, 
I'm going to go in to a flat brush, and this is the IBY Beauty. It doesn't have a name or a number, but it's like a flat brush. And I'm going to go into E5, which is that bright pink. And I'm going to put that in the inner and outer corner of my eyelid, creating sort of like a halo type of um, shadow. And at first, like, I'm going to pat the color in, and then I'm going to just blend it out. By patting it, I can really get that intense pink the way that I want it. But I also want to diffuse some of those harsh lines. I'm also going to put a little bit of this color just on the crease, trying not to get it on that middle area where we want it to just be left alone because we're going to put a different shadow there. Now that I have that shade there, I'm going to go back to the JS6 brush and I'm going to blend out the harsh edges around the crease so it can look nice and flawless. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in to A1, which is this beautiful glittery shade. It looks kind of like, an, like a really light green shade, but it's really not that visible. I'm looking at my mirror over here, I'm sorry, but it's really not that visible that it's like a light green. It's more like a like a muted gold type of she uh, shade. So I'm gonna use my finger because that's how it works best. Trust me, I always try brushes first because I hate using my finger for makeup. <laughs> but um, it doesn't work with the brush at all. Like it, the brush doesn't pick any pigment on it whatsoever. So your finger is gonna be your best friend for these shadows. And so now I'm just going to put that right in the middle. And I'm going to bring it up to the crease a little. I do want a little bit of that glitter goodness on my crease. Just a little bit. Okay, 
so I'm gonna take my flat brush that we were using with the hot pink and I'm gonna grab just a little bit of the hot pink and just blend out the edges so I can look all nice and blended. And now that that is done, I am going to, let's see, I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild brush that I have. It's kind of fluffy, but at the same time, it's also a little flat. And I'm going to go into D2, which is that bright yellow, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this, um, like around my brow bone area just to give it a little something. Okay, now I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into the E1 shade and I'm gonna put that underneath my lashes on my bottom lashes or underneath however you want to call it Now I'm going to go into uh, the Too Faced Smudger Brush. It looks kind of like a pencil brush. And I'm going to go into that bright yellow again, D2. And I'm going to put that as close to the lash line as I possibly can. Um, it's not going to come off that bright yellow. It's kind of going to give you like a little bit of like an orangey vibe at first. But just keep building it. It's never going to look as bright of a yellow as it does in the pan, but just keep building it to the satisfaction that you feel. I do wish that it would come off that bright on the eye, but it doesn't. And now I'm going to put a little bit of this on my waterline. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. And this one is in the color um, Screaming. And I'm just going to put this on my waterline. And if you hear that, I'm so sorry. That is my cat Olivia. She's playing with some bags over here next to me. Um, okay, and then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush. And I'm going to go into that bright yellow D2. And I'm just going to try and smudge it out as close to my waterline as I possibly can.
I'm gonna go back to the like pencil brush from Too Faced and I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm gonna go into my Sedona Big Fluffy brush and just blend so I can look all nice and blend it out. Okay, so for my eyelid, I wanted a little something. I knew from the beginning that I didn't want to use like a black eyeliner. Um, and I wanted a little something. So I found this in my collection. And this is the Wet n Wild um, Mega Liner Metallic. And this is in the color Gilded Wings. It was from um, when they had the Birth Theme collection a while ago. Um, but it's like really pretty and I just want to like just a little something, you know, extra. So I'm going to use this on my top eyelid. I'm not going to do like a wing or nothing and I'm going to keep it very um, thin. So... And while the eyeliner is drying, I'm going to go in to, let's see, I'm going to go into this Disney brush that I have. It's, it's from their beautifully Disney collection that they had like way back in the day um, when Disney came out with like a makeup um, brand, but it no longer exists, so I'm sorry, but any brush that looks like this will work. Um, and I'm going to go into A5, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner and on my brow bone as well. And this one, I do like to wet it a little bit so it can be more intense. And I also bring it a little bit um, on my bottom waterline right here just a little bit so that, that color can show and i also like to bring it a little up on my lid right here just a little just to give it a little something and of course in the inner corner and i'm just gonna wet it a little so it can be a little bit more intense and i'm just gonna use a um the color pop um pretty fresh setting mist And it just makes that pop a little bit more. It's like a very pretty, like, um, peachy gold type of shade. So it looks very pretty. It's very intense. And, and that is the eye look. Now I'm just going to go off camera really quick and do my lashes. I'm just going to put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's talk about the palette itself. So there are five rows and in each row there are five shades. And the way that she does it is not that she puts names or anything on them. She puts a letter and a number. So for instance, like the first shade is a one. Um, so that's how it goes. So we're going to go ahead and swatch all of these um, and see how they swatch. Um, so we are going to start with row A and we're going to go with one. So this is a shade that I have in the middle of my eyelid and it's like a kind of like a light green gold type of um, a glitter shade. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. Next, we have a two, which is like a purple glitter shade. Now, this one has like a shift of um, like blue and silver glitter in there, so it gives it that nice shift to it. 
Um, then we have a three, which is like a purple shade. Oh, and I'm telling you, like these mattes, they are so nice. They feel so nice and soft. They're very, very pigmented. They just feel really nice. And then this is a four, which is like a light brown. This is the one that I put on my crease. And then we have a five, which is like a peachy gold type of shimmer shade. Um, this is the one that I put in my inner corner. And I just think that these shades are just so beautiful. That's the reason why I think that this palette would be great for like everyday use. But also you can, you know, use it to put pops of color in there with some of the pinks and purples that are in here. So let's continue. Okay, next up we have a B1, which is another like peachy gold type of shade. This one's a little bit more gold than peach just so beautiful then we have b2 which is a little bit more of like a darker brown wow that was pretty pigmented <laughs> um that was a matte shade then we have b3 which can it's kind of like a brown orange very pretty as well then we have b4 which is a more dark um gold um no it's like a peachy gold shimmer and then we have B5. And B5 is more of like a cool tone brown. And this is a matte shade. Very, very pretty. I'm telling you, these mattes are really good. Okay, next up we have C1, which is like a light pink shimmer shade. It's very light, very pretty. It'll be really pretty for like an everyday use, but it's so pretty. Then we have C2, which is like a hot pink and it's matte. Wow. Then we have C3, which is like a purple pink um, shimmer shade. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a purple, but it shifts into like a pink. Then we have C4, which is like a lavender matte, the same matte. Very, very pretty, very pigmented as well. And then we have C5, which is like a, maybe like a salmon type of shade. Wow, I'm telling you, these mattes are so pigmented. Moving on to the next one, we have a D1, which is a very light matte brown um and then we have b2 which is that bright yellow um which doesn't really show up that bright on the skin but that's what it looks like then we have b3 which is like a brown shimmer that's very pretty that's really pretty it actually doesn't look that pretty in the pan, but it's actually very pretty. Then we have B4, which is another purple shimmer. Um, well, it's more like a pink, it's like a pink purple shimmer. It's very pretty. And then we have the D5, which is more like a, like a mud brown has a little bit of red in there. Wow, that's very pretty. I'm telling you like this mattes. I'm more of like a shimmer person. Like I use mattes to create my looks, but for me, like the shimmer, sh uh, sh shimmer shadows are like where my heart is. But I'm telling you these mattes, wow. Like they are pigmented and they are like butter. Then we have the last row, which is the E row. So we have E1, which is another matte pink. This is like a more like a baby pink. Then we have E2, which is like a white, and this is like a chunky glitter. Like you can actually feel the glitter in here. Um, and it's like a, oh, that's so pretty. It's like a shift. It has like, 
It has like green and gold and white glitter in there. Wow, but this is this one is chunky. Like none of the other ones have fell chunky, but this one has this one has chunks of glitter in it. Um and then next to it we have E3, which is another like of that chunky glitter, but this one is pink. So that's what that one looks like. And it's like a pink with specks of purple. And then next to that we have a matte um, it's like a darker purple. Yeah, it's like a bet color. <laughs> um, and then we have E5, the last shade, which is that hot pink that I used on my crease. And, and that is in the palette. I am so in love with this palette and I am so happy that I bought it. I am so happy with my purchase. So there you go guys. This is the eye look. Um, I think that it's so cute. Um, I definitely wanted to play with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink today. And you know, I just wanted to create something um, that was easy. It doesn't take a lot to create a nice look. You know, and sometimes a look may look complicated, but it's actually like super simple and super easy. I think that it's really fun, you know, for the summertime. Summer's coming with the yellow and the pink. I just think that it's fun. It's glittery. It's girly. And I just, I love it. I think that it's so um, cute. Um, now let's talk about the palette. The palette, um, even though I only played with about four or five shades, I have to say that this palette is really good quality. I'm not too familiar with ABH, um, shadows. I've only played with a couple of things here and there. Um, but I have to say that this impressed me a lot. The mattes, um, they're really pigmented and they blend really easily. I don't have any fallout on my face whatsoever, even from the glitter. I don't have any fallout. Um, and yeah, they were so easy to work with and they're pigmented, which is like the most important thing. And um, they're beautiful. I fell in love with this um, palette as soon as I saw it because you can do so much with it. Um, you can do like normal everyday looks with like these type of shades right here these and those right there but you can also do like fun um looks like the one i did today you can do like purple looks um so i think that it's just it's a fun palette but at the same time it could be like your everyday palette and that's kind of what i you know gravitated to when i first saw this palette um that's what kind of caught my eye um and the fact that it's just so simple and so cute with like the light pink it's just I don't know I really like this palette um and I like it even more now that I saw how it performed um I really liked it I really really liked it um I also have volume three which is the like orange with butterflies in the, in the cover and I haven't gotten around to play with that palette but I also fell in love with it because it's so bright and so beautiful um and I definitely do want to play with it and I definitely want to create more looks using this palette so yeah I hope that you guys like this um a video i hope that you like this look um it was fun to create and i just i think it's so beautiful yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up join the little family and i will catch you guys in my next video